Sisters find long-lost mom after 40 years, and it started with a single photo. Lonnie Sarmatch was separated from her daughters following the divorce from her husband. The love between a parent and a child is unbreakable. Years and distance can make people lose touch, but that does not mean the love diminishes. For better or worse, folks try to live with the good memories embedded in their souls as a way to move forward, hoping and praying that one day they can reunite with their loved ones. Janine Tume and Starla Medlock were just one and two years old, respectively, when the divorce took place. It would be the last time they would get to see their mother. Lonnie later remarried her current husband Mark Sarmatch but she still missed her babies. John Thompson joined the Air Force when he was 18 years old. Due to his career, he moved several times. He met Lonnie in Thailand, fell in love, and married. After the divorce, however, he relocated back to the United States with his daughters. He had full custody of the girls. The women admit their father who died six years ago, never spoke ill of Lonnie. He just said that she couldn't speak English because she's full-blooded Thai, and he said she thought since we were American and he was in the military, he could take better care of us and provide us a better life than she could," Starla told ABC News. Still, Janine and Starla felt a void in their hearts. For years they tried finding their mother without any success. We thought, we can't keep doing this anymore. We can't keep doing this to ourselves. We have to accept that we'll probably never meet her. It was a chapter in our life that was never going to be finished," Starla admits. On December 30, 2016, Starla received a Facebook message. Mark Sarmatch, Lonnie's hubby, reached out starting his message with, This is not a prank. There's a picture I see of this family, and I see mine and Jeannie's baby picture. I'm laying in bed and my husband's laying next to me and I'm going, Oh my God, says Starla. Lonnie and her husband live in Pueblo, Colorado. Lonnie wanted to find them but she didn't know how to and because she had such limited information there weren't any diligent searches, Mark explains. But she's often cried herself to sleep and talked about her daughters and how she has to find them someday. That night she asked me to help her find them, and we jotted down the information we had. It took Mark about three hours to find the sisters on Facebook. I opened up an album and that baby picture popped up. I was in shock, Mark says about finding the same photo his wife carried in her wallet for the past 42 years. I came running out of the bedroom and said, honey you've got to come see this. I showed her that picture and she just started bawling. Still, Starla and Mark exchanged numbers and information to make sure they were indeed Lonnie's daughters. On New Year's Eve, Lonnie and Mark flew to Kansas City to meet the two daughters she had last seen as infants. I'm totally beside myself. I have my whole new family here," Janine said. When they touched each other, Starla said it felt like time stood still. It just stopped. For Janine, I felt like that peace in my heart was just filling up. It was no longer a void there. Janine wants others in similar situations to know miracles do happen. They truly do happen. Don't give up hope. It may not happen right away, but it will happen and we are proof. As for Lonnie, she has plans and time to make up. We're going shopping for making Thai food, Lonnie said. We're going to go to the Asian store to look for all kinds of food and I'm going to cook for them. I've waited so long to cook for them.